Hey guys, Garth Bell in here. So, don't use AutoStar when you're first starting out. And I'll tell you why. When I was first starting out, I had uh, all these old scopes. I actually rented them from um, the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada, which I was a, a junior member of, or a youth member, or whatever it was called, because I was uh, under 18. And I actually don't belong to the club anymore. I just, I don't feel like paying the uh, yearly fee. Perhaps one day I, I, I will. Um, but at this point in life, I have kids and stuff like that, and I'd like to contribute as much as possible to sort of that side of, of life. Anyhow, that's a different story. I had these old scopes, and I was looking for distant objects, you know, um, dim galaxies, far away, um, almost undetectable with the equipment I was using. And sometimes it took me 20, 30 minutes. It was like a treasure hunt. It was really exciting. And when you finally found those objects, you feel such a sense of satisfaction. Um, and like you've discovered something. So it's, it's quite exciting. And I think this takes a lot of that away. When you're first starting out, it's an awesome tool when you're more advanced, when you've already got through that process, when you've already found those stars several times, galaxy stars, whatever they are, all the celestial bodies out there. Um, and uh, it's a great, it's a great tool. But when you're first starting out, I want you to experience the thrill of the hunt, the excitement, because um, not only is it exciting, but you learn a lot. You learn about your telescope, how it moves, and trust me, um, they don't all, they're not intuitive. So it does take practice. And you also learn about the stars. Say you're trying to find a faint, distant object out there. You're using the brighter stars surrounding it to locate it. And uh, inevitably you learn about those stars as well as the star you're finding. While with Auto Star, um, you sort of point and there it is. And when I first used Auto Star, um, I, um, I set it up and then I, I used it for the very first time. It found the, uh, the object. I had to adjust slightly. It didn't perfectly find it, but I did uh, adjust it. I saw it in the eyepiece and and that was it. And I felt like something was lacking. Something was missing. Um, there was a void there. Um, a lack of excitement. And it's still great because um, I had a friend that was doing uh, amateur, uh, oh, sorry, uh, astrophotography. And so that, that was the purpose. Not, uh, you know, thrill the hunt, but to, to sort of try to take a picture, essentially. But definitely, um, when you're beginning, yeah, I mean, try, try finding these objects. Start with, um, obviously, uh, sort of less dim ones, and go towards the ones that are harder to find. And it gets quite exciting. Um, and then when you finally find that object, that very dim object, you know, it's just a wisp of something. Uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's almost a mystery, you know, but. It's super exciting, so I definitely recommend it, and, and that's it. That's just a little quick piece of advice. Uh, I don't even know if you can call it advice, but just a, um, a thought. And um, yeah, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll have some more for you guys. See ya.